Okay, so that's the first verse, and all the verses follow that verse. There are um, five verses in the song, and all the verses are the same, okay? So let's go through this. Read, um, there are four chords in this song. The first one is A minor. So A minor is first finger, second string, first fret. Second finger, fourth string, second fret. And third finger, third string, second fret. And we play from the fifth string down, which is the A string, the root note of the chord. We don't play the sixth string. Okay. The next chord we need is G. It's finger one string five fret two, finger two string six fret three, and finger three string one fret three. Just from all six strings. D. String one, finger one string three fret two, finger two string one fret two, and finger three string two fret three. We play from the fourth string down. Chord is C. And C is finger one string two fret one, finger two string four fret two, and finger three string five fret three. We don't play the six string. Okay, so this song is in three four time, which is waltz time. So instead of one, two, three, four, we got one, two, three, one, two, three, with the accent being on the first beat. So it's one, two, three. So the verse goes, the first line of the verse has two bars of A minor. One, two, three, one, two, three, G, two, three, G, two, three, D, two, three, A minor, three, A minor, three, So two bars of A minor, three bars of G, one bar of D, and two bars of A minor. That, so the first and the last line of the verse have, to have those chords, they're the same. It was two bars of A minor, one, two, three, one, two, three, G, three bars of G, G, two, three, G, two, three, G, two, three, one bar of D, D, two, three, A minor, twice, A minor, two, three, A minor, two, three. The second line of the verse has four bars of A minor, two bars of C, and two bars of G. One, line which is 4A minor, 2C and 2G. And the last line of the verse is the same as the first line which is two bars of A minor, two bars of G, sorry three bars of G, one bar of D and one bar of A minor. And Folks, that's Spencer Hill. <clears throat> so the first line and the last line are the same, and the, the line, the two lines in the middle of the verse are the same. Okay, so there's a few kind of embellishments we can do with this on the A minor chord. So you can kind of pick the melody of the tune out by playing bass notes. Second fret. So uh, four string second fret once, twice, then G, the four string open, fifth string second fret, sixth string third fret. So that's. Okay, D, or sorry, stay on the G. So you can hammer on to the second fret, fifth string, fourth string open, fifth string open on the D. Or you can 
fret the third fret sixth string, you can have that door. Back to the A minor fifth string open. She so can hammer on to the fourth string second fret. So hammer on, fourth string open, fifth string open. Sixth string open, sixth string third fret, fifth string open. use between the verses um, or between the lines even it's great if you forget the words if you forget the lyrics you can stay on it all day while you're thinking of the words Wrong with the bass notes, and they're all from the um, they're kind of all from the G major pentatonic scale, which you may or may, or may not have covered at this stage, but don't worry about it. Um, the idea of this lesson, or the purpose, the aim of the lesson is just to get Spence a little um, get to play the chords. second verse. Give me an Spencer Hill, and um, until our next lesson, um, have fun and keep practicing.